Hello everyone, what we're going to talk about today is called Zombie Town in 2023. It's a one hour and 32 minute PG-13 comedy horror released September 1st, 2023. Amy and Mike unearth a centuries old curse when they decide to watch an exclusive film reel. The duo must track down an infamous filmmaker and navigate a town of hungry zombies to save the world. Directed by Peter Lepiniotis. Written by Peter Lepiotis, Michael Semenuk, and Michael Schwartz. Here's the cast. Lexi Mitchell as Mitzi. Brooke A. Smith as Jennifer. Chevy Chase as Mesmerin slash boardroom executive. Michael Condy as Dean. Jonas Goddard Lashbrook as Cray. Ryan Anthony Moreau as Dimp. Dan Aykroyd as Len Carver slash boardroom executive. Henry Zazerny as Richard Landro, Marlon Cazzotti as Mike Broadstreet, and Maddie Monroe as Amy Maxwell. First and foremost, it was nice to see Dan Aykroyd and Chevy Chase in a horror film. A comedy horror at that. Now, the story takes place, Amy and Mike. Mike works at this movie theater with his boss, um, Richard Landro. And they are going to host a film made by Dan Aykroyd, Len Carver. And he hasn't done a film in so a lot of years, but they actually made, named the town, they changed the name of the town after his last name, Carver. Everybody in the town just loves his zany, you know, zombie films that are like low budget. But there's a story behind why these zombie films are being made and you find out later on these films that he's done in the past are actually real zombies it's something to do with some kind of a curse or, or however it was and what happens is mike and amy decide well amy wanted to see the film before it was being shown and len carver said don't don't play it he has a change of heart well they play it so everybody in the town turns into zombies. Now this is not your typical zombie film. There really isn't nobody actually died from a zombie attack. And there's a reason for that. So now you have Amy and Mike trying to get through the town and try to find Carver and try and figure out how to stop this zombie apocalypse. Well, there's a cathedral that Len Carver had all his films buried, I mean, in his chest, put away where they'll never be found again. Well, in order for this zombie apocalypse to go away, is he has to burn all the films that he's done in the past. That's basically the gist of the story. Now, if you're going into this movie like you want a die-hard zombie film, you know, kills and all, it's nothing like that at all. I could pretty much say this is more like a family film. It's not really a horror, per se. I guess the horror aspect of it would be the zombies, but there wasn't no kills. And you're saying to yourself, well, why am I going to watch a film with no kills? I'll tell you why. Dan Aykroyd. It was great to see Dan Aykroyd in the film. It was great to see Chevy Chase. It's more like a fun film where the end result is the town was saved. Because everybody came back to normal and the zombies are gone. That being said... There's more to it than what I'm telling you, so definitely check this film out. It's well worth a watch. Zombie Town, 2023. This is Gruesome Herzog. I give this film an 8 out of 10. I love the aspect of it. It's quite different than a zombie film, and it's a fun little watch. Go check it out. This is Gruesome Herzog, and I'm out of here.